More and more Americans are losing their jobs to robots as the middle class disappears and income inequality gets worse and worse. The goal of this video is to compare and contrast Bernie Sanders and Andrew Yang's plans for fixing America's income inequality. Bernie Sanders wants to raise corporate and income taxes on rich and to a lesser extent middle class Americans to fund government assistance programs as well as his plan to raise the minimum wage to $15 per hour, more than double the current $7.25 in some states. Andrew Yang, on the other hand, wants to introduce a value-added tax targeting tech corporations such as Amazon, Google, and Facebook in order to fund a universal basic income scheme he calls the Freedom Dividend, which will give every American adult $1,000 per month, no questions asked. To figure out which approach is better, we're going to look at how either plan affects Amazon, which is owned by the richest men in the world. Recall Bernie's focus is on raising corporate and income taxes to get the rich to pay their fair share. One problem with this approach is that Amazon paid zero in federal taxes in 2018, so raising income and corporate taxes, which the biggest winners of today's economy aren't paying in the first place, might not be the best idea. It's better than nothing, but I'd rather want to tax the ultra-rich before taxing the rich. This is where Andrew Yang's value-added tax does a better job. Since a value-added tax is paid by the end retailer and functions somewhat like a sales tax, there aren't a lot of ways Amazon and other mega corporations can avoid it. In fact, the vast majority of countries have already figured out that a value-added tax is very logical for the 21st century since it helps capture some of the gains made by the biggest corporations. So that's the tax side of things. Now let's look at the benefits. A $15 minimum wage versus universal basic income. Andrew Yang wants to leave wage levels to the states, arguing that different states have different price levels and therefore different costs of living and should have different wages. Bernie Sanders, on the other hand, wants to raise it to $15 federally. Now, you might think Amazon would prefer Andrew's plan over Bernie's, but they've actually been very supportive of a $15 minimum wage. Which might seem a little confusing before you really think about it. You see, Amazon is in the process of replacing its minimum wage workforce with robots. If you go to an Amazon warehouse, all you'll see are robots. At the same time, a $15 minimum wage would absolutely decimate most of Amazon's competitors, which would end up making Amazon a monopoly in more and more locations. That's why Amazon supports a $15 minimum wage. So, in rough terms, we can sum up Andrew Yang's plan as taking disproportionately from the very top and giving an equal amount to everyone, while Bernie Sanders' plan is like taking from those near the top and giving it to those near the bottom, while leaving the people at the very top and the very bottom mostly untouched. All things considered, I'd have to say I like Andrew Yang's plan a little bit better than Bernie Sanders' plan. But what about you guys? Do you think Bernie Sanders or Andrew Yang has a better plan for tackling income inequality? Post your thoughts in the comment section. And remember, criticize ideas, not people. Are all y'all paying attention? Automation gonna sweep the nation Unless we get him in Andrew Yang, 2020 freedom dividend Climate change is real again Science rules Teachers bring a home some bread Medicare for every citizen That's nice. Andrew Yang, 2020 freedom dividend